Hello everyone. Um, this time I want to show you uh, some Dollarama accessories. Um, you might already have seen across the store that I'm starting to stock uh, the uh, range from uh, from Yang. They do a couple of different things. They do a lot of um, 3D printed uh, Dollarama accessories and they also do some tools. If you look in the toolbar um, on the website, you'll see uh, that uh, I do have um, pretty much all of their tools at the moment. There's one which uh, which is coming very soon because they're redesigning it. Um, but the tools that they do um, uh, do offer are actually on the site uh, site now. But uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, some of their uh, diorama accessories. Well, in this video, I want to show you a, um, an addition, I guess, to the, to the Liang range. They do a lot of um, diorama accessories, uh, 3D printed um, uh, soft drink cans, uh, water bottles, these kinds of things. Um, they also do a very nice uh, freezer box. All of these are linked to in the description. But they also do what they call uh, civilian supplies, which is, the, which is this one. Um, it's a, a range of um, you know, different items, uh, again, at 130, 135th scale, which you might find extremely useful just to add that little bit of extra detail to uh, to your models or uh, or dioramas um you get various uh, sizes of sort of you know uh, bottles uh tubs uh, i think there's some some blue roll on there uh some sort of you know cleaning fluid and spray guns you know these kinds of of of, uh, of items which could be ideal just to sort of scatter around your diorama if you were if you were making something um, you're fairly modern um, I think these most of these brands are are uh, yeah, absolutely modern ones um, so it kind of lends itself to that kind of model making that kind of diorama design but anyway let's get the, to, let's get it out of the box and uh, I'll show you exactly exactly what uh, what you get um, so you get uh, the actual 3d printing models them, themselves and of course a, a very useful uh, decal sheet. So let's let's have a look at the models first. Let me do if I can get the uh, the bag open. There we go. So let me let me pull pull all of these out so you guys can and have a uh, have a look at them one at uh, one at a time. So let's uh, let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at this one first because I think that might be the the most interesting one. Um, so if you can see see what's actually on there. Uh, so you've got um, you know, various kinds of bottles. Um, I think the, the two on the end are um, um, oil uh, you know, for your car or, or whatever. Um, there's a couple of um, uh, squeeze, uh, um, uh, pump action ones as well you know, for, for cleaning. Um, one looks like an aerosol. And so on this side, uh, you've got, um, you get a, a loo roll and um, a couple of uh, spare loo rolls uh, on, their, on their own. Um, this one is um, various things. I think that's, again, another oil can. That's a, a large um, uh, container. You can put anything you like uh, like into that. Again, some looks like uh, just, uh, I think that looks like cans as well, some uh, maybe um, soft drink. Uh, a very large uh, a bin as well, if you want to uh, need that for for, yeah, for for anything. But the I guess really when you, you put your mark on these things, uh, buy um, the, the paint effect, of course, and uh, also the decal sheet, which... Uh, which, as you can see, um, has some uh, fairly well-known brands on it. Um, but there's, yeah, there's no reason why uh, you couldn't uh, use these uh, right across the range there to create some uh, some very interesting uh, effects. Um, I use this as kind of general detritus, I suppose you'd call it, across dioramas, um, particularly post-apocalyptic. I, I tend to do that. Um, so these kinds of items are, are you know, absolutely perfect you know, for derelict buildings or... Um, just strewn across um, a, a road somewhere, or in a car, or, or some something, uh, any, anything that you know, your imagine, sort of imagination sort of takes you. Yeah, but these kind of things could be could be ideal to sort of raise the uh, raise the detail of uh, of your uh, of your diorama. As, as I said at the uh, at the beginning, um, they're kind of ideal and they complement um, several other um, items in the Liang range. Um, as I said there's a link uh, to all of those in the in the description, uh, which you'll see uh, above this video. There's things like, uh, as I said, soft drink uh, cans, uh, um, water bottles. There's a really nice freezer box, which uh, some of these will go into. They all kind of come together really nicely as a, um, uh, a diorama accessory pack, if you like. Um, but you can sort of pick and choose which bits you want to, uh, you want, uh, just to make your, you know, your dioramas, your vignettes, even standalone, um, uh, models themselves. If you're looking for something to put on a, say, on a, the passenger seat of a car, for instance, maybe some, this, this could be quite good. Or if you've done a, a car with a, um, the bonnet open, so you can see the, the actual engine, um, there's a, uh, there's an oil, 
um, uh, there's an oil bottle there, which would be perfect, uh, just to give that little bit of extra detail to uh, you know to your to your to your model. Uh, and again, it's really sky's the limit. You, you know, it's, uh, it's your, your imagination is uh, is probably the only limit there. But um, you know, the, the the printing is superb. It's crisp. Um, very little in the way of uh, of clean up with these, as with all of Liang's um, you know, 3D printing, you know, very very fine fine detail. So that's the uh, civilian supplies uh, set from uh, so from Liang. Um, it could be something that could really raise the detail in your uh, your model making. Um, as I said at the end of all of these uh, videos, uh, if you've got any questions or or any queries, uh, you know, don't uh, hesitate to get in touch.